just when I think the left can't get any more disgusting or deranged, they surprise me, they think their unhinged hatred for President Trump will attract the American electorate to their side, boy, are they in for a shock. When Kathy Griffin held the bloodied and decapitated head of President Trump up for a photo op, people didn't find it funny, they were horrified and it just about ended her career and it should have. She has since returned and has aligned herself with the most hateful and vile celebrities in Hollywood, as well as Democratic radicals. Her new best bud is porn star Stormy Daniels. You are who you hang with and boy does that pretty much say it all. The list of off-the-hook celebrities is very long. One of the most prominent is producer meathead Rob Reiner of All in the Family fame. He just can't get enough of trashing the President of the United States. Reiner just did a movie called Shock and All, starring Woody Harrelson, James Marsden and Reiner himself. It's about a group of journalists covering George Bush's planned invasion of Iraq in 2003. They are skeptical of the president's claim that Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. The leftist pick was a giant flop. Americans aren't buying what those such as Reiner are selling these days. Personally, I still believe those weapons of mass destruction were moved by the Russians over the border into Syria. The movie tanked so hard. It only brought in $41,000. Reiner has had six bombs in a row now. All leftist drivel. You would naturally think that people would learn from these disastrous attempts to spew hatred towards America and President Trump, but no. They just keep doing it and thinking it will work this time. Take for instance the One Grand Gallery, which is an art gallery in Portland, Oregon. In a hold my beer moment. They decided a great way to attract people was to display a horrific image of President Trump getting his throat slit by some monster in their front window. Classy. Oh, and they showed even more class by posting the message FCK Trump with the gruesome image. You know they are going to get exactly what they deserve over this and will probably wind up going out of business for such murderous hatefulness. Plus, they are sure to get a visit from the Secret Service over this display. This is tolerance to the left. Tolerate every perversion under the sun, but DH to President Trump. They are inciting violence against a sitting president which is against the law and should be dealt with as such. Gee, wouldn't you just love for your little ones to see that pic in their window? How do you explain that to your children? This is what the left is teaching their children. It's eerily reminiscent of Hamas. If you don't agree with them, off with your head. Anyone who thinks something like this is okay or appropriate is deeply disturbed and twisted. These are the same people who want to police our words and censor the internet and social media. They demand you recognize 127 different genders, but won't recognize a legitimately elected president. DH threats against President Trump and his family should not be allowed or tolerated. The gallery's Facebook page is almost as bad. Notice how Facebook is allowing this to be on their platform. But talk about the evils of abortion, Christianity, or try to post a video of Mark Levin and you are censored for it, from 100% fed up, com. These are some responses from Americans over this travesty. Leslie Rowe responded to this disgusting excuse for art telling the gallery, this is not art, but hate imitating art, shame on you. Another Facebook user responded by telling the gallery how their actions are backfiring. She explains to them how they are the reason so many Americans are choosing to hash walk away from the Democrat Party and support President Trump, and a great example of why people are choosing to walk away from the Democratic Party, can't run on anything except violence and hate. This is why Trump won and why he will win again. This user posted a hilarious image in the comment section. Make Democrats cry again 2020. Is it any wonder that the former Democrat and gay, NYC hairdresser, Brandon Straka's hash walk away from the Democrats campaign has exploded on social media, as 100% fed up, com put it so well, hash walk away is about to become hash run away. As a result of all the criticism, the founder of the art gallery has taken the illustration down, and the gallery's Facebook page is gone as of this morning, Fox 12 Oregon reports. A Portland art gallery has taken down a window illustration showing a knife to the throat of President Donald Trump. According to a man who identified himself as the One Grand Gallery's founder, who refused to give his name and hid his face from a Fox 12 Oregon crew, the GC image came down following continuous threats and a request from his landlord. The man also declined to explain why the gallery put the image up in a window, 
which faces a public street and sidewalk, reporter Tyler Dumont, but, I mean, you felt strong enough to put this out here, gallery founder, yeah, but people that are responding, are responding with such anger and violence, people want the gallery to go up in flames with my family. There is a massive amount of outrage over this vicious image out there. It's not garnering the sort of publicity the gallery had hoped for I'm sure. Over and over again, when something like this is tried and hatred for President Trump is so wickedly displayed, it does not end well for the business, the celebrity or the leftist. It won't end well this time either. You could probably time a going out of business sale over this with an egg timer.